also was allowing Patrick to take those hormones in the state. This Aussie mum helped her 12-year-old son to become a girl. When he was young, he would dress up in girls' clothes, and at one stage he did say to me that could he be taken to the doctor to be made into a girl. You wish you could just change everything about you. You just see any girl and you say, I'd kill to be like that. They changed his body. Patrick takes estrogen that had been That's prescribed right. for you. Mm. He was on a pathway to create a life for himself as a female. They felt like I was on the right track to becoming a girl. No, the unthinkable. He looked me in the eye and said, I'm just not sure that I am a girl. You changed your mind, didn't you? Yeah. Is it too late to take it all back? Your boy's got breasts. That's Sunday on 60 Minutes. Hey guys, and welcome into the Rack Zero Four. Okay, so today I wanted to talk about Patrick Mitchell. This kid detransitioned at age 12 after two years of transition. And the whole idea of transition and detransitioning was always quite fascinating to me. Um, I've dabbled in that area before, and I, I've done a video on detransition and thoughts and dark thoughts about doing it and, and other stuff. I saw this only yesterday. This was three weeks ago this happened, and by doing a quick YouTube search result, I have found a lot of videos basically using this story, this one separate case against the entire trans community. What people seem to be doing is being like, oh, this person's changed their mind. It's wrong. You have to stop now. One person's changed their mind. Now, I know it's not just one person. Out of every thousand, there's going to be about probably maybe 50 to 100 who are like, no. And that's okay. Transition is an incredibly difficult thing. Transition is the biggest and most hardest choice you will ever make in your life. And Kids, especially, are young. They haven't experienced most of their life yet. They've only just understood that one day they're going to have to pay the bills. They're still, especially at a young teenager level of 12, 13, they haven't experienced most of the things that we've experienced by 20. They, they, they're, they're very young. And I don't want to put down all trans kids because that's not the case at all. Some people know for a fact that they want to transition, and that's fair enough. And... I'm okay with that. I've done a video on trans kids before. Uh, my views are as if they are completely certain and they are, like, sure. And you know if a kid's sure. And this is the case where it just happens to be one of those people has decided that they don't want to go ahead with it. So, I felt like this 60-minute trailer, this 60-minute trailer was kind of putting... Force it was putting it was putting negativity on the mother, firstly. Especially at the end where the guy's like, You do realise your son has breasts <laughs> You know? And he kind of looked at her and she was just like, Oh fuck, yeah. Okay. The idea that this mother allowed their kid to transition and was so accepting of them should be celebrated. She she is a rare case where trans kid's parent is actually nice. Not a lot of people have that. Not a lot of people have family that care. And the fact that this mum was so supportive of this kid shouldn't be made out to be a bad thing. Yeah, if they'd like tried transitioning them after they were born or three years old, fair enough. There's some issue there, but if the kids that age, they, they by then, they would know what was going on. That's their decision at that age, I think. The mum should not be to blame for that. And I don't think the kids should be either. If they want to detransition, fair enough, detransition. I, I don't care. It's not any of our business. I don't know why this has to be put on the public national news. I don't know why that has to be a thing. 
The thing is, people are going to be using this now against the trans community as some kind of piece of evidence that we are on the wrong path. And that's the damaging part. Now, I'm not saying this is the fault of the kid, Patrick. I'm not saying that whatsoever. I'm just saying that this, as everything is on the internet, is taken the wrong way. And it is twisted and it is turned to make out people seem worse than they are or certain things are worse than they are. I want to tell you right now, I've been transitioning since 2011. I was 19 when I started. And am I regretting it? No. These are the best last freaking, what is it, seven, six, six years of my life. It's been incredible. And I am so happy. But if you don't feel secure in your transition, if you feel like you don't want to transition in yourself, you're feeling like it's, it's regret, then don't. Get out when you still can. But if you're being forced or peer pressured not to be trans by maybe parents who are against it, or maybe you're watching these kind of videos on the internet, take a step back and look at yourself, and if you're happy with what's going on, then fair enough. Don't let other people sway you. That's all I have to say on this. Detransition is a very iffy subject and it's something that needs to be talked about but not to the point where it's used against us for no reason and twisted and turned against the trans community because that is wrong. Anyway, thanks for watching but until next time, that's me. Out. Bye guys.